Yeah, so uh, Jeremy and Gaki and Kevin Kevin um, continue to work with the team. Jeremy a little bit um, slower than we, we'd have liked. I'd have, I'd have thought Jeremy would have been available available for Saturday. That's not going to look like it's the case. And Kevin, he's going through a period of like his own pre-season. He's been out for a while, so he's he's getting fitter, stronger, and someone who I see been available in the, in the very close future. Tom Dilly. After the Luton game, had a knee reaction, some swelling that we need to send him for further tests to get to the bottom of that. Um, and and apart from that, I don't think yeah we picked up any new problems in the Leeds game. Kevin Kevin is someone that Watford fans haven't seen yet. What type of defender is it? So he's someone that that we we need really. It's that that real pace on the back line, physical presence. He gives us. He then gives us the ability to to press higher up the pitch because. You, you have that pace in the back line that can be be aggressive and hold a, an aggressive line. So, yeah, he's, he's a player that I've, I like what I see so far. I um, feel like we can improve him um, and and teach him how we want to play with with the ball. But I think out, out of possession, he'll, he'll be a big key for us. What sort of role do you envisage him having in the squad this season? So he'll be one of the outside centre-halves and I, and I see him having a big part to play. But he'll be, uh, yeah, he'll be right in the mix to, to, to start and um, he's yeah like I said he's, he's someone who we've been missing in, in recent weeks with, with that real pace on the back line and Festi Abaselli received a bit of treatment at Leeds is he going to be alright for Saturday? yeah just bustle cramps that one he's he's such an explosive player I thought he put in a great performance at Leeds and um, and athletically and physically he was yeah he, he pushed himself to the maximum and that's what I expect to see every time we, we go on the field we, we didn't see it last Saturday where uh, I think the last three or four years of my my own career I was out of breath for 99 percent of it and it's, they're, they're the the limits you've got to push yourself to and so yeah just muscle cramps for Festi and you know, I'm pleased with his performance on Tuesday and Pierre Duomo has been in and around the squad uh, was on the bench against Leeds um, what have you made of him so far? Yeah, tra training very well. Uh, he's got, couldn't ask for two or three better players to learn from in in Edo, Musa, Tom and, and, and Imran. All got different qualities of the midfielders that Pierre can learn from. He's not a young player like a, an Almeida or um, a Tigvich. Pierre comes with, with substance of 60, 70 games in first team football. So he's... It's not his first rodeo, but we're strong in that area of the pitch. Um, what I would say, he shows a fantastic attitude to learn, um, to train at a high standard, and, and his chance will come. And just turning attention to the weekend, a familiar face in the away dugout in John Eustace. You played as with him and also he was your captain. How would it feel to go up against him in the, in the manager? Yeah, one of the best guys in football. Um, he's sort of not, not spoke to him for... for 15 years or so until uh, the summer when we were speaking about a few players but um, great guy great leader for a, what was a young dressing room at, the, at that um, in that year and yeah someone who I'm very very fond of he guided us as well as a, a really young dressing room and as a midfielder he's someone who I learned the, the few dark arts from was he one of those that you always saw going into management when he retired? Yeah, yeah, very level head sort of guy who always used common sense to 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 lead the dressing room and and yeah, an organizer. So those kind of characters, you, you're never surprised to see them in coaching or management. And what challenge do you think his Blackburn side will pose you on Saturday? Yeah, well, defensively they're they're in a great moment. You know, they've kept a lot of clean sheets recently. A bit like us, they're they're a bit of a home team at the minute. Um, so we're hoping to make them feel as, as uncomfortable as they, they have done for, for their, their in their away form so far this season. Um, and and yeah, it's I'm looking at us this weekend. The the two sides of us have, have been showed in the last four days a really poor side on Saturday and then a, a really encouraging side on on Tuesday. And in, it, we have to produce the latter more often. Brilliant. Cheers, Tom. Cheers.